Hey Chickpeas, quick announcement. If you were subscribed to me before I put this video out, then there's a high chance that your character is gonna be in the background as an extra. So be on the lookout for that. With that said, on with the video. Hi Chickpeas, I'm back and I'm in cat pajamas like Illymation in her video. Please don't judge me. Anyway, Let's talk about cats for a second. Now, undoubtedly, cats are one of the strangest animals on planet Earth. On one minute, they can be sweet and nice, but on the other hand, they can be jerks. And it's just kind of a roll of the dice anytime you interact with a cat. So, with all that said, I have the weirdest cat story ever. Lots of storytime animators have weird stories, like Illymation has a cat that eats garbage, sure. And Sugar's cat accidentally got poisoned once. And yeah, James has a cat harem practically. But trust me, my story is way weirder. I promise I win. At the time, I lived in a nice little pocket of the suburbs with a more industrialized part of the city a short walk away from it. Our neighborhood was basically a haven for any feral cats, but this is the most important cat. A little black kitten with little white spots all over her. We're going to call her Minty, and she made a noise like this. <coughs> Minty would always, always come to our house begging us for food, and I would always give it to her because I'm a decent human being. After a while of Minty coming to the house, I figured I wanted to have her as my cat. So, I begged my parents to let me get her, and they said, You can get Minty, but you have to take her to go get shots. This might sound easy enough, but there were two really big problems. The first problem being, I was a teenager who did not have a car, so I could not drive the cat to the vet. And the second problem being, how was I supposed to get her there? It's not like I could just carry her with my bare hands. I didn't have a box or a crate to put her in, so I found a workaround. I would use the public bus to bring her there. But then, as for the box or crate, I looked around in my garage and found one of these thingies. So I was all set. I was going to put Minty in her box, walk to the bus stop, put Minty on the bus, get her to the vet, get her shots, and go home. I had a plan. <laughs> but frabjuous day, Kalu Kalei, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Minty hated that box, and I mean really hated it. She clawed and scratched it from the inside, and she was loud. I just didn't know what else to do but to keep her in there, so I just kept her in. And not only that, but I had to carry a yowling cat to the bus station. And I was just there the whole time like, don't look suspicious, don't look suspicious, don't look suspicious. But in the end, I probably looked really suspicious. I mean, just imagine being a stranger going about your normal day when this rando sits next to you waiting for the bus like... <coughs> By some miracle, I avoided suspicion when I got to the bus. Now... This is very important. I was one of the only people on the bus. So, I told the bus driver to take me straight to the vet. Keep in mind that I told him to take me to the vet. Not the veterinarians, the vet. This detail is very important. When I was on the bus, there was this person sitting next to me staring at me like... However, when I got to the veterinarian building, it looked really strange. For a second, I really second-guessed myself on whether I was in the right spot. Because let me tell you, this building was tall, it was made of glass and metal. The only thing that reassured me that it was the veterinarian's building was that there was a big banner outside that said, Vet Center. Time to use my common sense superpowers. Oh right, I don't have any. What to do? Just go in there. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? If you make a mistake, just take the cat and book it. Come on, just go in there. What else have you to do? Oh, come on. You're really going to trust her? 
When has trusting her ever helped you? Besides, she's wearing a cape to a casual event. And we both know only jerkwads wear capes. The cape is awesome and you know it! Besides, it's better than that tacky ring around your head. It's not even attached. I mean, what is that? It's a halo, you tacky jackass. Ooh, you said a bad word. I thought cursing was a sin, huh? For your information, I was going to say arse, not the A word. Besides, you probably only wear a cape to fill the void of having such a tiny, unimpressive set of wings. Oh, you want to go? You bet. Bring it on. Ah! Ah! It's kind of awkward just standing here watching you guys fight, so I'm going to go inside. Just so you know, I'm her favorite. Oh look, a fallen angel. Needless to say, I walked into that building and it was kind of strange when I walked in. There were a bunch of old people and amputees with name tags. It was really weird. And that's when I began to question myself and ask, am I in the right place? Hey, 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 I know you're mad, but before you give me another holy punch, I want you to say, you have to pay for my cape since you ripped it. I have to order another one from Taiwan, and then they have to make sure it's in stock, and then there's the whole shipping backlog, and that's going to take a crazy long Shut up, you pompous jerkwad, before I flatten you with a crucifix! You're the reason we're stranded here, and I've got harp lessons in an hour, so you better find a way to fix this! Well, at least things can't get any worse. You fool! The cat had burst out of the cardboard box and ran out through the door. So there I was, all alone, holding a broken cardboard box in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by a bunch of amputees and old people, completely clueless. I didn't know what to do. I had never lost a pet before this moment, much less in public. Until this old person walked up to me and said, Well, here it goes. I hope you're a fast runner. Looking back, I was so distraught over this, but now it lives rent-free in my head, and honestly, it's the funniest thing a stranger has ever said to me. Then they proceeded to ask a very valid question. Why in the world would you even bring a cat here in the first place? I was supposed to get her her shots, but I couldn't find the veterinarian office. Uh, kid? This is actually a veterans convention. Apparently, I was at a veterans convention this entire time. As I was walking home, I really did not think this could get any weirder. But it did. Let's review our list of crazy things, shall we? Number one, trapping a crazy cat in a box. Check. Number two, being stranded at a vet convention. Check. And number three, Losing said cat at vet convention. Triple check. And yet this gets weirder. But this is the absolutely weirdest part. When I got home, the cat was there. In case you're wondering, we didn't end up getting the cat. And I hadn't gotten one since. Eat your vegetables. I got a couple of important announcements, so please stick around to listen. First of all, thank you to Rebellious Pastry for voicing that hilarious veteran at the veterans convention they did a great job if you don't subscribe to them i will personally find you and push you off of a microwave um secondly thank you to mooner for making this beautiful fan art of me i absolutely love it and third of all this is the most important one um i'm starting a podcast yeah i'm starting a podcast where i talk about random things i'm hosting them every other friday night and occasionally i'll have on guests and, um, you know, I'm just going to talk about random things. And uh, it's going to be really, really fun. And I haven't yet come up for a name for it yet. I want it to be something coffee related. So it would be like everyone's talking in a virtual cafe. But if you have any hilarious ideas for a name, let me know in the comments and I'll choose one. Okay? Okay, bye.